Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Jared Beckwith and in today's video I'm happy to announce that my EEG software company, Ion EEG, the Activations Assistant feature that I released to the public, it is now a real company. Ion EEG, guys. I, the paperwork is in. I had to, I guess, contact some lawyers and get them to set up my business legally or whatever and connect it to the IRS so that way I can pay taxes. All that complicated stuff, all taken care of. Now that all the paperwork's in and my business is officially registered in the state of Florida, I have to do some other things that you don't really think about. It. I have to set up a specific business bank account because you don't want to mix your personal funds with the business funds. You know, you, you got to make sure that's separated. And another thing is I've got to start writing an annual report every year. That's something you don't think about until you have your own company or LLC. Yeah, I, I had to figure out like, what is an LLC, a limited liability company, and why do I want it? And that was the best way for me to go because there's like a ton of different things and I don't know super deep into the details about it, obviously, since this is my first time doing it, but I, we figured it out and I got the official paperwork to prove it, guys. My business is real now. That's this is a great day. And it says on the paper it was born July 6th, 2021, which is a full year ahead of schedule. Very impressive to myself. I still, my brain is weird. It's like I still think I'm a slacker. But when I look at my notes from a long time ago, it's like I'm a full year ahead of schedule because I didn't expect to do this till 2022. You know what I'm saying? So, but this unexpected feature that's just how it comes with inventing. Thomas Edison said something along the lines of sometimes you just got to try 10,000 ways and then on the 10,000th try or 10,000th prototype, you're going to strike gold. You're going to find something that people not only want, but nobody else has done. Nobody else has done better and it hasn't existed before. I guess it's me, I just have an active imagination and that's how I created Ion EEG. That is the secret to my creation of the business, my active imagination. So this business is a good opportunity for me to further investigate the secrets of the brain and artificial brains, artificial neural networks, and that's what I'm interested in and it's like, I had to start this business. Like nobody else was going to make this EEG activations assistant. So I had to do it. And that reminds me, I was talking to one of my coworkers, Penelope, and I hadn't told her about my software yet. And I was asking her, so how do you do activations when you're by yourself and the computer's on the other side of the bed? She's like, well, if I can't bring the computer next to the patient. You, you guys know how small the rooms are sometimes. Sometimes they got double rooms. So she said sometimes she'll just say it with her voice and then later go back and add the annotations or whatever. Cause she was like, if I mark it with my voice, it should be marked, right? And then I told her, well, what my invention is, is you say it with your voice when you're doing the activation stimulation procedures and the EEG machine hears you and labels it for you. And the thing is, I was nervous. I'm nervous telling people about my ideas. Everyone has self-doubt, you know what I'm saying? Even, and also having a little bit of skepticism and self-doubt is good because I've been trying to figure out every single way why this invention would not work and is not useful. But it keeps coming back to people telling me it's a good idea and then Penelope is saying that she's done voice annotations kind of without the app. And if my software was able to just write it on the record, it would have made these EEG ICU activation procedures doable. And it's going to be very precise too, because right when the beep goes, that's when it's going to make the mark. And that's when you do the stimulation. I'm trying to make it as easy as possible so anybody could use it. You know, it's for techs specifically. It's not for like some genius doctor or whatever. You just 
So what I'm thinking now is you just press the button to turn it on, you tell it label, it'll beep, you do the stimulation during the beep, and then it'll tell you to say the annotation, and then you just say uh, right arm stimulation or whatever you guys like to say. Label. Right arm stimulation. Annotation saved. I can program it specifically to recognize any any list of phrases you want it to recognize pretty easily. State of the art technology too. Uh, it might even be a little better than Alexa at recognizing words. So any list of phrases you want it to recognize. Um, so for example, you just make the annotation and then you say label again, and then you just say whether it was reactive or not. I'm sure you can see like across the bed, if you'll be watching the screen, since the machine's on the other side of the bed, you'll see if it's reactive or not. Then you can just tell the machine, and the machine will just type it on there. Uh, one of the first things you learn in software development class is the hello world program. The hello world program is you just make it print hello world, just text hello world. The simplest program of all time. And that's all about printing text. Now, since I took introduction to software development class, I knew that, yeah, if you give a computer some data or whatever, you can make it print things. That's one of the first types of programs you learn about in software development class printing text and simple guys. Now the algorithm to so where it hears your voice and can actually recognize the words. Now that's the hard part, but taking a software development introduction class, it gave me the foundation of knowing that this is even possible. Like some business people, they will, they will hear like AI or something. And then they'll ask like, how does AI help our macaroni and cheese production, for example, if it's like craft, and then they're not going to know anything about AI, they're not going to know, they're going to have no idea and unrealistic expectations of what it can do and cannot do. Since I have a basic idea of what software and artificial intelligence can do, then I am in a prime position to make the best EEG artificial intelligence software. So I'm bringing your EEG machines to life, guys. I'm beta testing 100 hospitals. So few people have signed up already coming up on a dozen so probably about 90 more spots left so just let me know on linkedin or youtube i'll be happy to talk to you guys just let me know which eeg software you use your email your phone number um, and when it's integrated with whatever software you use i will let you know and i'll let you guys test out my software and if you want to come see me in person and you want to see it in person, come to the asset conference, come talk to me, meet me. I love to talk to all you guys. Don't be shy. Come talk to me. Because I remember when I went to my first conference in 2018 for a marketing conference back when I was a marketer, um, I was, I went, I was like 20 years old. I, uh, I went with my girlfriend at the time. She was 20, she was over 21. So she had to like rent the car or whatever. So that was, that was pretty cool. Uh, we got a car, hotel, went to the conference, and I was a little bit shy, I would say, because I was like the youngest person there. It was like very nice business conference, all about marketing on the internet called the Trafficking Conversion Summit. It was in San Diego. I just wanted to give people value. My intentions were to build relationships with people, but since I was, you know, very shy and didn't want to talk to people and probably, yeah, I didn't end up making that many relationships, but from the speakers and presenters, I learned a lot and it's obviously paying off now. What? So I went in 20, 2018, 19, 20, 21, three years later, look, it's paying dividends. I'm doing good marketing right now on the internet, right? Right guys. So maybe, maybe the conference was worth it. So if you want to meet me, come to the asset conference. I will love to meet you guys and Hey, I'll see you guys on the next video. Right? Hey, make sure you hit the like button. If you like these videos, I'll be sure to put out more. That lets me know that I should make more. I love you all and have a wonderful day.